This is a brief demo for your homework. Um, this is the layout where you have a large button here in the middle and you have the score indicators on the side and you have this big area called the game frame or the rink and then these are the borders that are 12 dp that are right now all black and if I hit the button I change that to 8 seconds there's the puck, that's the goal border, these are the other borders. If I hit this button, you can see the location of the puck keep cha keeps changing because it's randomly initialized to be inside here, and the goal border keeps changing because it's randomly initialized. Goal border down here, goal border over here, goal border over here. Okay, now if I fling the puck, come on. Come on, it's hard to do. Okay. Uh, here, there's a slight disagreement between the display and the score, but basically, the score is the number of tenths of seconds you have left. Okay, and so if we hit this again, the score stays the same. Oh yeah, um, and it gets added on. That's 67 plus 18, I think. And the thing you really want to watch out for is this bouncing behavior. You got to make sure you get that right. It's got to, it bounces. Oop, okay, when, when it's done, you shouldn't be able to move it anymore. But it should bounce like a perfectly elastic collision, if you remember that from physics. If you don't, just sort of don't add any velocity when you change direction because you hit the side. Okay? And as soon as it touches the goal border, you can make it disappear. Okay, and the the score... Uh, oh boy. Let's see. Score... Yeah, it stays. That's fine. And there's, uh, there's no way to uh, reset it beside killing the app, which is fine. Okay, happy flinging. <laughs>